with more, we are now reaching out to Alberta's Finance Minister, Travis Taves. Mr. Taves, thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, it's great to be with you. Now, I have to address the elephant in the room first and foremost. I appreciate that you're speaking to us in your car as you go to the airport. So you got to love modern technology. Uh, you know, I, I want to begin with what we heard from Christian Freeland today, really from the start of the day, as she was calling on all provinces and territories to come together to meet the challenge of the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. Now, she is asking for cooperation. Uh, what's your response to that call? Well, look, Alberta is already doing a lot on that front. Uh, we've been investing in carbon capture, utilization and storage uh, infrastructure now for really decades, quite frankly. We have a, a levy on our heavy emitters in Alberta where we've been, again, collecting funds uh, from the industry and reinvesting uh, those funds in research and development on bringing emissions down. Some of the in reinvestment has gone into facilities, again, always bringing emissions down. Uh, we, we really have uh, moved forward uh, on our uh, petrochemical incentive program, uh, including carbon capture and storage uh, infrastructure uh, as, part, you know, in, as part of hydrogen investment and other petrochemical investment uh, to be eligible for the incentive program. So Alberta has really stepped out and uh, we're calling on the federal government to, uh, you know, to ensure that uh, Alberta and, in fact, Canada is competitive with the U.S. around the Inflation Reduction Act. So in terms of that, if, if you're saying, and I, and I take it as truth, that, that Alberta has already been making moves, what then are you looking for from Ottawa to, to, to feel like they are doing their part? Well, we, we really need uh, to ensure that we have a level, uh, level playing field with the Americans. Uh, like I say, Alberta's really stepped up. We've we've also moved forward on a regulatory basis, ensuring that uh, carbon hubs all over the province uh, have a regulatory path forward. We've assigned a number of those hubs to various proponents, and uh, and and again, we're calling on the federal government uh, firstly to pass the legislation around the investment tax credit related to carbon capture and storage, and to ensure that uh, Canada has a level playing field to ensure that uh, Canada ha has business competitiveness uh, with the U.S. with regard to the inflation reduction. Okay. Uh, you know, I also want to talk about health care. As we talk about inflation reduction, the numbers, you know, uh, of course, the first ministers will be meeting in Ottawa on Tuesday. Uh, Minister Freeland did not give away a lot today. But she did say that we are in tight economic times. As one who controls the economic levers in Alberta, what does that say to you about what Ottawa is willing to bring to the table if she's already issuing a warning? Well, well, look, as finance ministers, we're always we always experience fiscal constraints. That's that's our reality. It's a matter of priorities. Uh, provinces have been really carrying uh, the vast majority, in fact, virtually all of the incremental load around healthcare costs the last number of years. We've seen, you know, COVID uh, add significant cost uh, to delivering healthcare. There's no end in sight there. Looks like we're gonna be dealing with additional costs related to uh, just living with COVID in future years. So it's high time the federal government anteed up. Uh, of course, uh, we've joined other provinces and asking for a full 35% uh, of healthcare costs be funded through the Canada Health Transfer. We're also calling for uh, the increase in the transfer to be no strings attached. Healthcare delivery is a provincial responsibility and, and the Fed simply need to increase the transfer and let provinces identify the priorities and needs in, in their jurisdiction. I appreciate you're your, your, your saying that no string should be attached. It's not the first time we've heard that from the provinces. And Ottawa continues to be clear in their call. They, they want more data. They want more accountability. So if those two sides are still making these calls at this point. Are you hopeful that there will be a deal out of Tuesday? Well, I, I'm hopeful there will be a deal. It's been a long time coming. Obviously, we'll have to evaluate the proposal when it comes. But two things, uh, province have had, provinces have been um, you know, carrying all of the incremental financial load related to health care in the last number of years. We've seen those costs go up dramatically and they're expected to continue to climb. And, uh, you know, there are nuanced needs and pressures, uh, at, you know, with various provinces and provinces have the responsibility to, to deliver. So uh, the funding needs to be no strings attached. Now, look, again, we'll be interested in the proposal. 
and uh, we'll, we'll evaluate it when we receive it. So you are open to perhaps some of what Ottawa is calling for right now? Well, again, we'll evaluate the proposal when we receive it. But, but our position is it should be an increase in the Canada Health Transfer without strings. Minister Taves, really appreciate the time. Thank you for this. Uh, I hope you make your flight. Thank you. I hope so, too. <laughs> you take care.